we right now are getting the new races installed into this case half. There's like a baffle plate in there. And I got just a screwdriver and it was tapping all the way around. Race came out. This is the baffle plate. So we got the cases together, got the dip in, all the bearing races. Took the shim out of the stock um, bearing race. So we got this little bracket hooked up to this MA bolt, going around to my little indicator setup, and put the CV joints in so we can actually have something to grab onto and move back and forth. All right, uh, so as you can see right there, it's at zero, and that's with him pushing on it. If you pull on it, It goes, that's about 0.95, 0.95 to about one millimeter of free play back and forth. Clearance for the diff was 0.95 and we just installed a 1.25 uh, shim behind this race on the bearing, which will be 0.3 preload, which is exactly what these transmissions are supposed to have. And now we're moving on to this fourth gear support. We're gonna have to grind, I think it goes, yeah, it goes right here. We're gonna have to grind this down and basically make sure this is gonna uh, be in the right spot. Fourth year support is going right there. Got the grinder out and we're gonna cut this little, this little uh, ridge off in order to put that in there. And here is like a little template we're kind of using. And both of these holes are in line with this and then the up and down holes are in line with that piece and we're just kind of like following it and making it happen. Got the fourth gear support all drilled and it's ready to go. So it was kind of tough to do, but we got pretty much everything all lined up and it's looking good. Um, we still have to drill these out for this little brace on the side of this because these are like known to crack. And good old stick here brought the input shaft into work and buffed out where the uh, fourth gear support is going to rub on this piece of brass. And now it'll slide and won't need any kind of like break in and it'll have very minimal wear on that. Done now. Yep. Big ass hole on the side. <laughs> <laughs> We put on the reinforcement plate onto the back side of the transmission and we put the heads on this side, which is how it's supposed to be because the heads are going to be in the center of these two shafts. And we had a slight problem with the heads hitting the shafts and we put them on the belt sander. We're hoping that now it will miss the inside of these because these are way off center. They just, I think they just drilled out with just a regular high speed drill and had no kind of critical like dimensions on these and also our holes are probably a little bit off center they're actually really good but like i said these are off and also we noticed we put these in the drill and the bolt was a little bit off center as well the head of the bolt so that will also like work against us as far as hitting the inside of these spinning shafts it doesn't hit the input shaft and that was also an option we put just an eight mil bolt on that and I used a button head and even ground a little bit off the top of this and the only reason we did that not really for added strength just so this doesn't vibrate because if these two are fastening this whole thing down and this you know is like half a mil above the surface of the, this trans and you're running it and it'll vibrate and I don't know I just felt like we needed something here to secure it and I had the bolt to do it with so this is a test we've been doing we just been putting the shafts in and we kind of spin them and see if they hit. And with them heads ground down on the bolts, it doesn't hit and the input shaft doesn't hit that little button head that I got. So yeah, we're good now. And before it would hit and then you turn a little bit more and it wouldn't and then it hit again. But now I think we're good. So Hold on, you can shine a flashlight down in there. Through oh that yeah, and look. look. Oh shoot, you're right. We're worried about them M6 holes which are right in here. We're worried about them falling out, like potentially after all the vibration, heat, 
cool down a bunch of times and just like all the stuff that these bolts are going to be seeing we're worried about them falling out because they'll land inside the transmission in the gear set and it'll wreck this thing so what we figured out is we're going to chuck this thing up in the drill and right here here and then the same with that same with that we're going to put little tiny set screws and these set screws are going to thread in right here it's going to hit the m6 thread and they will not fall out they can't fall out they physically cannot go anywhere these probably would be okay to just run as is with like red loctite on the threads but we're going to go the extra mile and thread in some uh, set screws on all four of these just for like good measure and good uh just a peace of mind because these things will absolutely wreck this whole thing we are putting uh some permatex that's called the right stuff on the trans and on the uh, fourth gear support and we're basically sealing it up now that's it yep dang you're a pro you don't get out of here in between this reinforcement plate and in between the transmission we're putting a little bit of the right stuff the idea is to hopefully prevent leaks from this thing coming out we got our bolts sitting here with red Loctite on them, ready to be installed. And we'll probably, I don't know, maybe put a little bit around each head of the bolt and under the washers that these are gonna um, use just to try to stop this thing from leaking. We're gonna do everything we can. Fourth gear support is on and we got a bunch of silicone around it to try to seal it up. We just got the reinforcement plate all buttoned up, torqued these to 100 newton meters torque this on to probably like 35 newton meters and that is the fourth gear support which right there we also put silicone on the inside of that and put red loctite on the m6 uh, flathead screws along with the set screws that are in the side of this thing so here you can see that fourth gear support and the brass piece hitting up against the input shaft that we just installed here move your phone and oh yeah you can't really see it there you can just barely see the uh, little bracket but it hits up against the input shaft and it cannot move and bend out of the way which is a problem with the o2ms and it strips all the gears and we have that core in there we're going to weld in the core of that input shaft that we made just tack it and then as soon as it's tacked i'm going to dunk it in water because i don't want this bearing to get hot like at all all right guys so we just put the c clip on the outside of that and we just tacked the center of that to the input shaft dunked it in that water obviously you can see the mess and we did that because we did not whoa we did not want this bearing getting hot whatsoever and it is not like brown or blue or it's not like it did not see hardly any heat so if you do this i definitely recommend dunk this thing as soon as you tack it we literally welded that for like five seconds and we should be good now